Hey guys, welcome back. Out here in the woods again today, I'm gonna to gather some more logs using my Lewis winch behind me. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sort of change it up a little bit and I'm gonna show you something that I've recently started using in conjunction with my Lewis winch that's really improved the usability of that winch when I can get a vehicle like my ATV to the location. Now, up until this point, you would have seen, I've been using this Lewis winch in conditions where I can't really get equipment to. And that's one of the benefits of this. It's highly versatile and highly portable. But now I can get an ATV to this location at least because there's no snow. And at least where I'm parked, the ground is relatively stable. With that in mind, this machine here, this is a Polaris Sportsman. This has a two inch receiver on the back. And what I've started using with that two inch receiver, which sort of goes in conjunction with my Lewis winch, is this hitch set up here. Now this is a two inch piece of square steel. It goes into that receiver. And what it does is it allows for a base for my winch to sit on to then winch things too. This is very versatile in my opinion because you can actually swivel, kind of rotate the, the winch a little bit while it's on this platform. And I think that makes it very convenient because you guys are gonna see in a minute, it helps me to get the cable onto the spool very, very evenly. In fact, have a look at this. That right there is 150 feet of cable. Notice how nicely it's on that spool. It's on there nice and evenly because of that ability to sort of rotate left and right on this hitch. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about this today. I've found it to be very, very, uh, very handy where I can get equipment to. This isn't always the case and when it's not the case, you've seen my other scenarios. I use straps and trees as anchors, but where I can get equipment to like today, I'm gonna definitely be using this thing in the future. So glad you guys are all here. Let's give her a go. So I typically just put it right in the receiver and I drive around with it. Obviously you wanna be careful cause it sticks out a little bit. But I'll take it out here and I'll show you exactly what we're dealing with when you get this unit. Now, I just have a pin in there holding it in. And when I take this out, you guys are first and foremost going to notice there are two holes. So depending on your setup, you can go in as far as you can. If you can only get to the first hole, because in my case, there's something on the opposite end, then you use the first hole. If you can go even further, then you'd go even further. So two holes, very convenient. You guys can see there. It's uh. It's pretty stout, you know, it's, it's definitely not a piece of flimsy steel here that's gonna bend on you. And you can also see here, we have a platform for the winch to sit. And I think what is very nice is there's actually this pin and this, uh, this clip here. And what this does is when I get the winch on here, and the winch is essentially going to have a, it's going to have a, a loop piece of steel here, hook on to that, that uh, that piece there, when that gets on there, I can put this pin in and then lock it. And what that does is it makes it so the winch can't possibly fall off this, and that's very convenient. And as you'll notice in a minute, that, uh, that sort of design there allows me to swivel the winch left and right, and I can also rock it slightly, and that allows me to get the cable on nice and smoothly. So let's, uh, let's give this a try here. And as I mentioned, this has worked really well for me, and I think it's gonna become a, uh, it's going to become a well-used tool here in conjunction with that Lewis winch, not only on my ATV, but I'll probably use it on my truck and I'll probably also use it on the back of my tractor. Let's get that in there. All right, and let's get this mounted up. See how that goes all the way forward and then it's firmly sitting there and then we just have this extra pin for safety and that way nothing can fall off there while you're winching all right as i was mentioning and you're going to see this in just a minute when i start winching uh, i can actually move see how i can move the winch a little bit left and right that makes it very convenient because that allows me to get the cable on smoothly and evenly on the drum here if you guys haven't been around the channel before and this is your first time seeing this setup, what you're looking at here is the orange piece, which is the Lewis winch, which comes with the steel cable here. The steel cable you'll see me drag out and hook up to a log in just a minute. On the back of it, I have directly mounted to that Lewis winch a Hulsforma G660. This is the biggest chainsaw that they suggest, that's Lewis winch that is, that you run the Lewis winch with. This is a 92cc 7 horsepower chainsaw. 
You're never going to see me wide open on this thing. You're always going to see me just feathering it. It's because this thing's got a ton of power and this thing never struggles to pull anything. I've had this Lewis winch also hooked up to my Husqvarna 555. That's a 60cc chainsaw and that works really well as well. So what we're going to do in just a minute, I'm going to go hook up to a log here. You're going to see me fire this thing up and you're also going to see me playing around with this right here. What this does when I loosen that off is basically allows me to free spool the cable. On this side you also see a little bungee cord but you also see this lever. This lever controls a brake which will allow me to control how fast this free spools and also allows me to hold the load if I pull back on it. All right so that's what we're up against. I'm gonna go hook this up to a log down there and we'll fire this up and you guys will see exactly how this extra attachment here for my Lewis winch really works. Here we go.
Well, guys, so I'm going to pack it in there today. I've got a whole bunch more logs down there, though, so I'm not going to be out of here for too long. That terrain gets a lot more rough, a lot more wet, but I'm going to be in there with the Lewis winch. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, put it down below in the comments. Hopefully, you guys get out there, enjoy yourselves, do some sawing, maybe even a little bit of winching, and I'll see you next time. And just one last thing as I go here, some of you guys are going to wonder why I didn't just back the ATV in, hook the log up and tow it out of here. For that case, I might have been able to, but as you can see, going down that trail where the rest of the logs are that I'm going to winch out today, there's no way I'm going to drive down there and safely get the logs back here just by towing it with the ATV. And there's certainly no way I'm getting down there with the tractor. You guys might not be able to tell, but that's a pretty steep side hill there. And you can see a lot of ups and downs and it's very wet there over on this side where i'm about to get more logs from you guys will notice it's even worse i have tried driving in there and trust me if i could do it easily i would do it but i can't get in there safely get out easily towing it with the with the atv so that's where the winch really comes in places i can't access like that mm -hmm.